to be a terrorist? Yeah. All right, cool. That's a U.S. soldier believed to be behind the camera taunting a young child in Iraq. We found the video on Facebook and started asking questions. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. That clip is just part of the video that horrified a local Facebook user who shared it with us. It appears to have been videotaped by a U.S. soldier in Iraq. The short video is filled with the remarks about homosexuality and terrorism directed at those small children. Brian Mims is live in the Fayetteville Newsroom with this WRAL exclusive. Brian. David, the video was posted on Facebook May 14th. In the past 24 hours, however, the man who posted it has made his Facebook site private and it's no longer accessible. We cannot air all of the audio. It is simply not fit for broadcast. But we do have a warning. You may find this video very disturbing. The clip runs just under 30 seconds. It shows two small Iraqi boys standing on a dusty road, side by side. The photographer asks whether they're gay and engage in certain sex acts. Are you a f You like a don't you? Yeah? Are you good at it? The boys, who may not understand English, smile and nod. Then the photographer asks this question. Are you going to grow up to be a terrorist? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, terrorists. Woo! The boys smile. They give the thumbs up. You're going to play an IED? Yeah. Awesome. Now, as if realizing they're being mocked, the older boy holds down the younger child's arm. The video was posted on the Facebook page of Robert Rodriguez, entitled Future Gay Terrorists. His bio describes him as a soldier living in Fairbanks, Alaska. An Army spokesman says there is a specialist Robert Rodriguez stationed at Fort Wainwright, just outside Fairbanks. It's unclear whose voice is heard on the video, but Rodriguez wrote on his Facebook site, I was bored in Iraq, so I kept myself entertained. Another soldier based in Alaska, who's from North Carolina, then shared the video with friends on his Facebook page. We showed the clip to a couple of soldiers in Fayetteville. Stupidity and boredom. Stupidity and boredom. That's all I can say. Any soldier will tell you that war can have a lot of downtime, with action coming in spurts. I don't think most soldiers are like that, but I mean, you have to understand frustration and, you know, what, what everybody's going through right now. And any soldier will tell you not to judge them all by a single video. No, not at all. Not at all. I know plenty of soldiers that would never do anything like that. We have sent the video to Army officials this afternoon. We have not yet received a response. We also tried to reach the soldier who posted the video and the North Carolina soldier who shared it on his Facebook page, but we have not heard from them either, David. Brian, we heard boredom mentioned several times in that report, although it's hard to believe boredom can sink to that level. So here's the question. Is boredom truly an issue with soldiers who are deployed overseas? David, it is often the reality of fighting a war. Much time is spent cleaning guns and repairing equipment and waiting. That doesn't quite fit with what many soldiers think they enlisted for. In fact, if you go to the video website YouTube and type in the words, Born in Iraq, you'll get more than 3,000 results. Are you a f You like this f don't you? Yeah? Are you good at it? Huh? Are you going to grow up to be a terrorist? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, terrorists. Woo! You're going to play an IED's and 